Today, ladies and gents, we're going to talk about how to make two-dimensional objects appear three-dimensional in Zara products. Here I've got a, uh, a ball with, um, and you can see that it's, it's highlighted up at the top, and it's a little darker around the edges, and it's got a shadow underneath it. Well, these are really just two-dimensional objects that I've made appear three-dimensional. They're not actually three-dimensional objects. So the secret to this is to make sure that your light sources agree. Right, so that light and shadow uh, appear the way they would in the real world. So I'm going to take this arrow here and I'm going to point kind of to where uh, the highlight of this object is. So this is where the light is striking this particular object. Yeah, and if you were to follow that down, right, it's kind of striking right here. Put that back a little bit, striking the object more or less here. And if you were to follow this arrow down you would more or less see that that's where the shadow appears. Okay, so that's the more or less the secret to it, and now I'm going to show you how I did it. I'm going to delete everything, and the first thing I'm going to do is create a circle, a perfect circle, by holding down the shift key and dragging with the ellipse tool. Yeah. Now I've got my, my circle here, and this is going to be my actual three-dimensional object. And I'm going to go ahead and give it this linked uh, green color, and um, then I'm going to apply a, a different fill to it. I'm going to apply a circular fill. I'm going to drag the center of the fill up to the kind of point where I want the light source to be, and I don't want this white. Right now this is white. Uh, I'm going to give it a little bit more of a matte color by selecting this lighter green color. Yeah, And then I want it this to extend all the way down here, on pretty much to the edge, and I'm going to give that this darker green color, and I'm going to take this main green color and I'm going to move it close to the end of the arrow, but not quite. Okay, so now you can see that I've got the ball is is basically this main color, but the light is striking it up here to give it a bit of a highlight, and here's the low light down here to give it a bit of a darker color as it, as it goes down. Now if I take that arrow away, that looks relatively three-dimensional, but since I've got light striking it, I should have a shadow as well. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ellipse tool again, and I'm going to draw kind of this elongated ellipse like this, and I'm going to give it a black, flat black color. And the next thing I'm going to do is I want to cant that slightly. It does not, doesn't happen at a perfect 90 degree angle. Yeah, This is going to be the basis for my shadow. All right, more or less going to happen right about there. Now, the first thing I want to do with that is I'm going to give this a slight feathering. About, about nine points sounds good. All right, so that's good. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to give it a flat transparency as well. And I'm going to give it about a 90, we can say 90, 95% transparency. Okay. It's still there, it's just uh, much harder to see. All right, now I'm going to clone that. And you can see it got a little darker. And then I'm going to take this and reduce it down in size. And I'm going to move it up a little bit closer to the edge. All right, now there's a good reason I'm going to do this because I'm going to create a blend between these two. And when I do that, it's going to be darker here and lighter here. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead and select both of my ellipses, use the blend tool, grab one point and stretch it to of, of the small ellipse and stretch it to the uh, point of the, the larger ellipse and boom, there we go. You can see it starts to get it's darker here and it gets lighter towards the edge. But this is only a five uh, step blend and you can see the rings in this thing. So I want to increase that to about a 20 step blend. That's going to increase the darkness of this uh, significantly. And as you can see, it's much darker here than it is out here. And that's going to be exactly how we want it to, to appear because once you get it underneath this object, right, it would be darkest right underneath the object and lighter out towards the edge. All right. And you want to nudge that to where it's just a, a bit of shadows peeking out from underneath it here and not much out there. And if you want, you can increase the size a little bit. But that's it. That's how you create a, um, a three-dimensional appearing object out of two-dimensional objects. 
Um, we used three ellipses to, to get to where we wanted to get it, uh, wanted to go. And I hope that was informational and educational and you'll come back and visit us soon.